Hi friends, it is time for a story. So the title of our book today is Caterpillar to Butterfly. In this story, the author is Laura Marsh. And I think you guys are really going to like this story because it has real pictures of butterflies and caterpillars in it. So I think you're really going to like it. <clears throat> Before we read our story, let's get our bodies ready, okay? Everybody put your hands up. Nice job. <clears throat> and we'll sing. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, everybody is looking ready. Caterpillar to Butterfly by Laura Marsh. Let's see. Oh, here's our title page, Caterpillar to Butterfly. Oh, well, this story starts off with a riddle. And it says, what starts is it as an egg? then walks on many legs, and then uses its wings to fly. Do you know what it is? A butterfly. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors, some have bold patterns too. So this butterfly is a pretty bright color. And if you look over here, you can see some patterns on the butterflies. You might see yellows and blacks. There's a little bit of green and pink. This one has some spots on it on both sides of its wings. This one is really bright colors too. So many different types of butterflies. Four stages. It is also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short lives. In fact, there are four stages in a butterfly's life. That's called the life cycle. The first stage is an egg. This is an egg right here. It's hanging right off this plant. The next stage is a caterpillar. So when the egg hatches, the caterpillar comes out. The third stage is chrysalis. Chrysalis, this is what the caterpillar builds around its body before it's ready to change into a butterfly. And then the fourth stage is the butterfly. Now it's gonna talk a little bit about each stage. Stage one, the egg. Look at all these butterfly eggs right, he right here. A mother butterfly lies many eggs on a leaf or branch. Each egg is close to food, caterpillar food. The eggs come in different shapes. You see them? These are all different types of butterfly eggs. All different types. That's pretty cool. So different types of butterflies lay different types of eggs. Stage two, caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole in the egg. It crawls out. The caterpillar is very hungry. You see the egg? And then the caterpillars chew a tiny hole and they come out. The caterpillar eats its shell. Then it eats the leaf it's on. The caterpillar moves to another leaf. It eats that leaf too. So caterpillars will eat leaves. That's some of the food that they like to eat. And that food helps them grow. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too big for its skin. It sheds its old skin like a snake. Okay, so here's some of the skin. That's the old skin. And then the caterpillar was too big for that skin, so it sheds it. It comes right off. It doesn't hurt the caterpillar. It's just what their bodies do when they grow bigger. The new, the new skin fits for a while, but then the caterpillar is too big for that skin too. 
caterpillar shed their skin four or five times. That's a lot of times that they shed their skin. Stage three, chrysalis. By now, the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down. It sheds its skin one more time. So here's the caterpillar lying upside down. You see? Look. Ooh, you see what it's making down here? It's making its chrysalis. The new layer is called a chrysalis. It is a hard shell. Inside, the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. So it stays inside its chrysalis while it's changing. That's almost two whole weeks, 10 to 14 days. Stage four, butterfly. The chrysalis moves. It splits open. The butterfly wiggles out. Its wings are wet and crumpled. So right here, see the butterfly is starting to come out of the chrysalis. It's gonna start to come out. See its little legs up here, down, and the wings. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings. They get bigger and harden. The wings dry now. The butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. Oh, this one says time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from fruit. A tube on its head works like a straw. If you look really close, there's a little tube right here. And it brings it down to the flower or the fruit and drinks up the juice in there. Yum. All right, now here are some cool butterfly facts. I know some of you really love fun facts. So let's learn some fun facts about a butterfly. The world's smallest butterfly is the blue pygmy. It's the length of a pushpin from wing to wing. And I even have a pushpin over here. See this? That's how small the butterfly is. Oh my goodness, that is really small. Um, butterfly wings are covered in tiny scales. They're little scales all over their wings. Butterflies are found all over the world, except in Antarctica and the driest desert. So in Antarctica, it's probably too cold for the butterflies. And in the driest desert, there's probably no food for the butterflies. So I think that's why they don't live there. There are about 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. Wow, that's a lot of butterflies, friends. Uh, butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste sensors there. So people taste with their tongues, right? We all taste with our tongues. Butterflies taste with their feet. Did you know that? It's pretty cool. And then the world's largest butterfly is the Queen Alexandra Birdwing. It's as long as a ruler from wing to wing. I have a ruler in here too. You see. So the Queen Alexandra butterfly, its wings from one wing to the other wing are as long as a ruler. Could you imagine seeing a butterfly this big? Wow, that would be pretty amazing to see. Uh-oh. This one says, back off. Oh, back off. Caterpillars and butterflies are a tasty snack for predators. A predator is an animal that eats other animals, but they have tricks to keep predators away. Some hide using camouflage. So camouflage is when the animal, the butterfly, is able to blend in with the other things around it so that the, the predators, the enemies that are gonna eat them, can't see them. If you look very close, there's a butterfly on this rock. It's camouflaged. It's kinda hard to see. 
some can be deadly to eat. Oh, so this guy right here, if that snake eats him, mm, he'd get very sick, very sick. Oh, and this tells us the differences between a moth and a butterfly. So this side over here is the butterfly, and this side over here is the moth. I'll tell you about the butterfly first. Butterflies have antenna right here that have knobs at the end. Their bodies are slender. That means they're thin. Okay, their bodies are slender, slender or thin. They can be brightly colored, and they mostly fly during the day. Okay, mostly during the day. Now this one is a moth. The antenna are slim to a point and they look like feathers. They're a bit bigger than the butterflies antennas. These ones look more like feathers. Their bodies are fat and furry. They mostly fly at night. So moths mostly fly at night. And they're usually brown tan or white. That's pretty cool, huh? I love it. And then this last page says, bring butterflies to you. You can bring butterflies to your backyard. Make a butterfly garden. But first ask an adult for help. Here's what you need. Plants that we have in the stores around us. Plants that bloom at different times orange, purple, yellow, pink, or red flowers. Flowers that are clustered together, so they're all in a little group together. Flat-topped flowers, a sunny spot for butterflies to rest, like a flat stone. A wet or watery spot for butterflies to drink. And then no chemicals, because those chemicals, if they eat them, can kill the caterpillars or butterflies. Pretty cool. And that's the end of our story. I hope that you all enjoyed Caterpillar to Butterfly today. It's a pretty interesting book. All right, friends, but now it's time to say goodbye. So everybody put up your waving hand and we'll sing goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, boys and girls.